We love vulnerability in other people, but we hate seeing it, or we certainly don't like seeing it in ourselves. This was a quote that was in my first book, Virtues, and it's a quote that I have really found to be true over the years. So today, because I wanna make sure that I don't subscribe to that, that I'm not loving vulnerability in others but hating it in myself, I wanna be very vulnerable with you guys and transparent and tell you about a opportunity, a weakness, a struggle, a challenge that I faced last week and just be honest with you about something that happened to me and then kinda of how I chose to work through it. So last week, I got asked to speak at an event on a topic that I'm not overly comfortable with. It was a topic I haven't commonly presented on before. I said yes, I went and did it. And while I was there, somebody in the audience recorded a video of me and part of my presentation. And I got really excited about that when that was given to me because I thought, oh, cool, I get to see myself talking in, in a group setting. Maybe this will even be uh, material that I could use for my website. I don't have a lot of photos photos or videos of me speaking in front of an audience, uh, this is great. And as I began to watch the video later on my own time, I, within a few minutes, was dismayed by my performance. In about every 20 or 30 words, I was using the word um. And I think it's because I was a little bit nervous to talk about this topic in front of this different kind of group. And I also had decided to go it with no note cards or index cards or notes. I just really wanted to be able to move my hands freely and not have the assistance of a guide. And so there were these moments where I was thinking about what did I wanna say next? What came next in this part of the presentation or the speech. I didn't have any slides or anything like that. So I'd sort of prepared, here's the flow or the order. And in those moments where I was recalling what, what has to be next here, I used the word um. I filled those dead spots with uh, a filler word. And to me, it looked very unprofessional and not natural. And it was just not at the level of speaking that I know I'm capable of. And right away, I began to uh, negatively self-talk myself. I began to think, oh, Amy, you look so bad up there. Gosh, this is embarrassing. You could do so much better. Why were you so nervous? It shows, you know, you're beyond this. What the heck? And so I shut down the video. I felt kind of depressed about it. Felt really sort of ashamed of myself. Started walking around the house doing some things. And then it kind of dawned on me that I was not being loving or kind or compassionate with myself. And I'm a big believer that how we speak to ourselves really matters. The language we use when we're talking to ourselves, it really affects how we have confidence and how we can show up in, in our lives. And I realized, you know what, this doesn't serve you at all. You're really judging yourself and criticizing yourself. You wouldn't talk to a friend this way. Why are you allowing yourself to talk to you this way? And so I flipped the script and the narrative and I began to tell myself a different story about that day. What I said in instead was, you know what, you did your very best and you leaned into a challenge. You were willing to make yourself uncomfortable. You said yes to a group of people that you'd come and be their speaker on something that you don't talk about as frequently and you, you did your best. And so you should feel proud of that, that you allowed yourself to get challenged and tested and a little bit uncomfortable. And that's okay, that's good to do that. Some people wouldn't have even been willing to do that. And this can serve as a learning opportunity for you. And so you'll, there'll be more, there'll be other ones, and keep at it. And I noticed as I began to talk myself and affirm myself and love myself that way, I felt much better about the event. And I also felt much more motivated and inspired to continue on with the rest of my day, coaching my clients, doing a couple of last minute things for the book that's about to come out. And, and so this is really important that we um, we don't beat ourselves up so bad for our mistakes. Maybe it's a sports game, maybe it's a meeting at work, maybe you stuck your foot in your mouth with a friend or whatnot. Everything in life, almost everything in life is, is repairable. And so nothing is fatal, nothing's final, very few things are permanent. If you are ashamed or feeling some guilt over something you didn't feel you handled well, just get right back in the saddle, start anew the next day. You can always start again and be really careful as to what your thoughts and your language with yourself looks like. When you make it seem that everything has to be perfect and that everyone's observing you, uh, you set yourself up for a lot of failure because you're not willing to try new things and take risks 
when you talk to yourself with love and forgiveness and grace and understanding and acceptance and you, you really kind of congratulate yourself for just having done your very best, you find a lot more things to be happy and excited about, a lot more reasons to push forward and try new opportunities, and life just gets better. So it took me a minute. I, I not only struggled with the speech, but struggled in how I responded and reacted and talked to myself when I saw the speech. And I'm really happy that within a few hours, I was able to get back to saying, I'm going to choose to be okay with this and happy with myself. But that was hard. That was difficult to get out of my first uh, reactive thinking and into something else. So my homework for you all today, this week, is to find an opportunity to do this. Is there something that you've been kind of feeling down and out and upset with yourself about? If so, wipe that slate clean and, and find a way to switch the story and think about your wins, your accomplishments, and if nothing else, um, what you've learned that you can apply next time. With that, uh, thank you guys for all letting me be uh, very vulnerable and humble and transparent with you today. And I hope everyone's making a great day. I'll see you guys all soon.